I've noticed that everyone that works with color has their own very individual workflow. I'm no expert colorist, but I have experimented with a bunch of different ways to make footage look better using Final Cut's native tools. I want to show you a very simple four-step process to improve the look of your footage. First, let's set up our workspace. If you go to Windows Workspaces, you'll find Color and Effects. It will bring up four windows for you, the Lumiscope, Vectorscope, RGB Overlay, and Waveform. I've saved my own workspace to use only three of these windows. We're going to focus on Vectorscope, the Waveform, and the Lumiscope. Let's work with this talking headshot. Step one is to balance the clip or adjust the white balance. Click on the color wand and choose Balance Color. You can see it affects the clip marginally. Since we have a white or neutral background, instead of balance, we're going to adjust the white balance. Note, when you change this to white balance, you get an eyedropper. I'm dropping this on the white wall and expanding it by holding down the left mouse button and moving it along the wall. See how that affects the clip? Off, back on. That brings us to step two, adjusting the overall exposure of the clip. This shot is a bit underexposed, so we have some work to do. I like to adjust the exposure first on the global wheel so that the focal point of the shot is roughly half below 50% and half above 50% on the lumiscope. In this case, the focal point is the face in the shot. Next, bring down the shadows so that the majority of the color is sitting on zero on the lumiscope. Conversely, I'll bring up the highlights so that the top of the focal point is touching 100 on the lumiscope. Lastly, on the overall shot, let's bring down the global saturation a bit. I like the saturation to roughly be about a third of the way up on the vector scope here. Here's how the shot looks when we turn off the adjustments and then back on. Let's rename this color wheel to Overall. Step three is making sure the skin tones on the subject are perfect. We'll add another color wheel and immediately rename it. On this color wheel, we're going to add a color mask to adjust it to include most of the skin. Click View Mask and then with the left mouse button engaged, move the eyedropper to adjust the mask. Next, click the Crop Tool. Find a spot on the face that's brighter to focus on. The idea is that this line on the vector scope matches up with the skin tone line. In this case, it's indicating a bit too much red. Keep in mind we have a mask on the face, so any adjustment we do won't affect any other part of the clip. Most skin tones exist in the midtones, so we'll try to move it here away from red. You can see the line is pretty close to the skin tone line. off, on, to see the difference. It doesn't look perfect, so what I like to do next is crop in again on a darker spot on the skin. I'll move it slightly back to red on the midtones. The vector scope looks perfect, and eyeballing the face, it looks better also. I'll crop in one more time to adjust the exposure. We'll call this Step 4. Turning the effects off and back on, you can see the adjustments we've made. This is sort of how I do it. There are much more advanced ways to color correct, but for the most part, I think this looks pretty good. Any enhancements or questions, leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching.